It was a weird night of baseball. A couple of weird things going on here. First things first, we're in the Yankees game, 5 of the 8th, 7 to 1 Baltimore. It's a blowout. Aaron Judge is at the plate. It's a 1 2 count, and a cat makes his way onto the field somehow. Everyone notices it. No one says anything, but the pitch is thrown anyway. 1 2 pitch fouled off towards where the cat is. So that could have been bad. And then at this point, the cat's like, oh crap, oh crap. <laughs> He just books it towards center field. The left fielder for the Orioles is just like, nope, I'm not going to touch that. And the cat had a chance to escape here. He knew he was going. He's been around this park before. But the jerk at the gate doesn't want to open the door. Look at the cat saying, come on, let me in. The guy in the bullpen's like, open the door for him. Let's go, man. Come on. But nope, he wants this cat delay to go on. And it will for a while here. This cat is looking for another exit. Just can't find it. He's really debating here if he should use his special cat powers to jump over this wall. He isn't really sure. He likes being the center of attention. Obviously, he's in the middle of the game. So he's taking his time here. Then he jumps up into that wall, gets himself backed into that corner. He's going to think about his next move here. Not really sure how he got to this point, but he just knows he has to get the heck out of here as fast as he can. Tries to sneak around looking for any kind of exit. Nothing. This cat is stuck. And he is scared. And then here comes the grounds crew, gonna try to pick this cat up. I wouldn't pick the cat up if that was me out there, but hey, whatever. Gonna corner him here, four groundskeepers, one cat. Who's gonna win? And it's the cat. Cat breaks free. He broke all their ankles. They can't touch him, even if they wanted to. At this point, the crowd is obviously loving the cat, much more excited than the Yankees offense that night. So yeah, this cat definitely saving the game for a bunch of these fans who paid a lot of money to get in there. Cat tries to jump over the wall again, still doesn't work. Gives it a great attempt there. Ooh, nothing. They're trying to lead him. Say, hey, this way, this way, let's go. He definitely doesn't want to go that way. And he breaks the ankles again, and he's going downfield. The players love it. Then the cat makes his way back into the left field corner. He's like, you know what? I'm just going to hide right here. Yeah, you guys keep playing the game. Just go ahead. Don't worry about me. I'll find my way out of here. But nope, they're not going to let him go. They're going to get the guy out of there. All right. Last time, four guys didn't work. I think if we get like six or seven guys this time, someone's going to grab him. Nope. Cat wins again. Breaks free. The crowd's cheering him on. Oh, and he makes an exciting exit. Good for him. The most exciting thing to happen in that stadium last night. Then in this Phillies Nationals game, we had a Prey Mantis, Praying Mantis, whatever it's called. One of those green things on top of Victor Robles' head. It looks like he has no idea it's there. It's just chilling there. Not sure how he got there, but he's there anyways. So the inning's going to end with that little critter on his hat. And then we'll see in the next inning here when he goes out to play center field. He's still on his hat. I'm pretty sure he didn't know it was on his hat. That'd be kind of dangerous going for a fly ball and that thing just jumping on your face and you're losing the ball. But yeah, anyways, little guy got a fun ride. He was on there for almost the whole inning. They didn't really show when he jumped off. He just wasn't there at one point. And Robles had a couple balls hit to him that inning. So he definitely went for a ride for sure. 